we can still see this. Okay, so we're finished with this side now, so what we want to do is close it up. I'll give everything a little scribble around, and you should get that in there rather nicely. And then put your M3.5 screws in there to hold that together. this side here now with our two power wires again this is coming from the supply okay you can see where it's coming through from the other side and it's coming from the supply and that one goes into your common now it matters on this one normally on switches it doesn't but on this one it does matter so that one goes into the common And this one goes into the L1, which is your live out, basically. Okay, and fold that all nice and neatly in there. And just make sure that you're not going to trap anything when you close it all down and then pop your screws in there sure that your cable is pushed in there nicely so that you don't have you have two layers of insulation in there so you don't see the brown or the red tighten down your band and there you go same with this side give it a push, and push down so you don't see any of the blues or the reds and tighten up So there you go, that's the motor wired up. We'll give it a quick test run and you can see how it's going. Okay, so I've plugged it in. It's in the off position at the moment. Just turn it into the on position. The dim switch is its own switch. So if you turn it, it will click. Okay, and as you increase the dimmer, you can adjust the speed of the motor. Okay, this stuff is relatively simple, but if you don't have any confidence with electricity at all, don't do it. Okay, it is electricity after all, and you can kill yourself. But then you are making a very high-powered Van der Graaff generator, so you've probably got some kind of idea about what you're on about. Okay, so, like I say, very simple house electrics, easy to wire up the motor. That's the motor already wired with its control electronics, speed control, on-off switch. And we're ready to go.